In this video, we will show you how to use the regrasp clinician system. First, we want to find the optimal motor points for electrode placement. To do this, we will use the electrode placement puck. Start by wetting a large cotton electrode by soaking it in ordinary tap water for 30 seconds. While waiting for the cotton electrode to be wetted, place the large gel electrode onto the back of the user's forearm near the bony part of the wrist. Snap the black lead onto the large gel electrode. This is referred to as the reference electrode. When the cotton electrode is wet, snap it onto the electrode placement puck. You will need to make sure the regrasp stem is armed. To do this, place the stem in the dock. Ensure the toggle switch is in the EPK position and power on the stem by holding the top arrow button. Arm the stem by pressing the bolt button, which will turn the LED light yellow. Set the intensity to the puck by pressing the left and right arrow buttons on the stem. Starting at 10 is a good baseline, but the intensity can be adjusted to match patient tolerance and muscle response. Stimulate muscles on the forearm by placing or holding the puck firmly onto the skin and pressing the red button. With the red button held, you can continuously provide stimulation while firmly moving the puck along the skin. Find the optimal motor points on the top and bottom of the forearm for hand open and hand close functions respectively. To locate the optimal point for the thumb, swap the large wet cotton electrode with a smaller wet cotton electrode before stimulating the muscles. The optimal thumb location can either be placed on the underside of the wrist below the heel of the thumb to simulate a pinch grip or directly on the heel of the thumb to simulate a fist grip. Draw an outline around the puck at each point using the provided marker pens and note the stimulation intensity used to achieve each function. Next step, which will allow you to perform NMES therapy using the red electrode leads. To do so, flip the toggle switch to the RG position, peel off the adhesive to two large gel electrodes and place them on their respective marked motor points for hand open and hand closed that were found while using the EPK mode. Do the same for a small gel electrode and place it on the marked motor point for thumb. With the reference black electrode still attached, snap on the red electrode leads labeled O and C for hand open and hand close, T for thumb respectively. Ensure the stem is turned on and armed and navigate to the intensity setting on the main menu Scroll through the three electrode channels using the left and right arrow buttons and adjust the intensities to each channel using the up and down arrow buttons. Set each channel to the noted intensities that were found while using the EPK mode. Once the electrodes are in place and the right intensities are set, navigate the main menu to utilize FES and exercise modes. The exercise mode delivers therapeutic stimulation, automatically cycling between hand open and hand close stimulation for 20 minutes. The FES mode delivers functional stimulation, allowing for manual control over hand open and hand close stimulation. Stimulation can be controlled with the button controller. Insert the head motion sensor into the controller and trigger stimulation by clicking the yellow button. 